Jack had a chance recently to return to the road night mine and uh, this following video is about what he was able to find on this trip. At the site he was able to get a better understanding of how the road night's distributed and what rocks make better target rocks to carry out to process. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about uh, how we're progressing at the road night mine. This is that section of road where Ronald took off on me with the ATV and I said, wait, don't leave me. And remember how bouncy that was. Let's see how it works with the GoPro. Just at the very end of the trail. You see the rock there starts to get uh, black in places. Rich in manganese, that might actually be a good rock. And this is it. Right at the top of the burn. That's where everything got good. You can see the manganese rich rocks are just everywhere and not all these rocks are good no but this is your target rock uh, within this target rock you'll have good zones but just to be able to find the target rock is good not everybody ever gets the opportunity to do that so good manganese doesn't look like much pink in there might be but doesn't look like it and that's our spot up there and there's good stuff all over the place here <laughs> yeah that's got nice pink good one there that's a maybe That's an interesting piece. It's got some of the uh, red striations in it and some brecciation. It might be a nice, nice piece. That might be a nice piece of Zarya stone. I'm still not sure of all the material and what it uh, cuts like, whether it's really nice inside or not. Some of it's definitely duds. And since we have to carry it out, it's nice to find out on site if it's good or not. Been very successful so far. We got. Uh, little pile going probably more than I can already carry out and I'm just playing around with this big piece you can see it's a, a good size and it had color on the outside I thought it was more of a jasper you find a lot of jaspery pieces and these aren't necessarily nice rocks but uh, as I hammered on it get to some sense of road night right there and there and we got the orange here some reds so this could be a really nice piece of Zarya stone the whole thing could be good I'm just not sure, and I really don't want to carry that big a piece out. The other, there's another piece of it. And again, you see light coloring on the outside. Definitely got some uh, uh, manganese material there. So uh, yeah, it could be really nice Zarya stone. I think I'll take a chance and make one hammer on it. But you see the orange in here, that's really telltale to me. That could be road night, but orange. This could be just beautiful. 
and I really don't want to destroy it, but we'll give it a shot. All right, look at that. I'm just gonna wet it. And that's the orange. You see some pink, pinkish red right on the top, but that would be Zarya stone. And that can be really beautiful, as you've seen in some of the other pieces. Ah, we got a good cross section here now. <sighs> yeah, look at the uh, rodent right on top, and then into the orange, and then some reds. And yes, it is fractured, but I think I'll be able to maybe get it, at least a few good pieces out of this. So that is good. Good stuff. So we got so much to learn about this site yet. And we've only really started scratching the surface. And right now I'm just looking through colluvium and just trying to get an idea of what's here. I'm starting to realize that there's a little bit of pink and red in here, and that's probably a good piece. Looks like a big piece, so I'm gonna try and dig that out. Sometimes the red's not good, but in this zone that I've been working, it has been good. So I'll have to dig that piece out. It's a good size. There's a piece of it to tell us what's going on. That's perfect. I see pink. That's good enough to be a in my mind. I'm still going to test it. You can see that's loose. Definitely loose, so not too big. Try and take just a corner. And what do we see? Well, not too great. You really don't want to be carrying this stuff out and processing it at home when it's just not that great. So yes, there is some color on the edges, but this one doesn't seem to be good inside. Unless I just haven't quite hit the right layer yet. And see some road night sticking out. Ah, there we go. There's some stuff in there. Just a thin band of it, but it's beautiful. We're trying to cut down on the all the rock we're carrying out. So, smart way of doing it is to test it as best you can without uh, destroying it. So those are three nice pieces. So now I know this piece. The rest of this has potential. So it's a good size piece. You know, it should have some road night in there. Where do you think you're going? You have to stay. I'm at least taking you home today. Isn't that nice? Just want to hammer on this one. I assume it's the same rock. It might not be the same rock, actually. So here we go. Nothing. It's breaking up real easy. It's probably not good. Enough. I don't think it's the same rock, actually. So, bye bye. And then we'll continue up the hill. I see a nice red rock over here. Let's have a look. Uh, this is steep. It's about 80% uh, slope. Quite a steep slope. My understanding of the rock now is that this has potential. And this has potential. And what else? Uh, I think I saw a good size. There's some good ones here. You see the striations in there, that's interesting. Don't know if it's good. This one's got lots of color, but it feels very lightweight, so I don't think it's good. That one's rich in something. That has potential. And we just keep going. I just dug this piece out, and it 
a little bit of pink on the outside heavy all black except when I split it I get into some really nice material some really rich pink Let's wet that down that's a good pink we have also got some other colors the into the Zarya types in here but this is almost into the nice spider web texture with good color and quite a bit of pink some people say that's too much black but uh, I think that's pretty sweet I'm trying to get a fairly big piece of this out and it's it's various it's distributed oddly through the rock it's not consistent it's almost like random pockets rather than anything that you can target so I'll just keep trying away here just to give you an idea of what I'm dealing with you can see some pink decent pink road night there that's essentially the other side of this stuff which is nice and so I just did a I can see a little bit here on that surface and then I just cracked it here and there's absolutely nothing so lots there signs of some there yeah, a little bit there it just seems to be really random I hate to break up a big rock of it but I don't want to carry out waste product either hmm. All right, really not sure I suppose at this early stage it's okay to break a few eggs oh look at the pink sticking out hmm okay that's really nice pink but there's pink there there's pink that side oh, i'm gonna have to take a chance on this rock i think carry it out that's some really nice beautiful pink right there look at that pink That is a rich pink color, really nice. Pretty much is the color of Hill 60. Cool. Oh, it's so inconsistent. See, and it's not like if I cut it, it'll be better. That's black, that's not, not colored. So I don't know how it's distributed. I'm working on it. Just about back at the truck and the first road night adventure of uh, 2022. Couldn't quite get the truck up, it was a bit too much snow, but I got a pack full, at least 50 pounds, and uh, had a good time and got a better understanding of the uh, outcrops and how the road night is uh, distributed, which is quite randomly so far, as far as I can tell. So, anyways, it was a fun first day. <laughs> That's normally where we park, and I couldn't quite get there. Just a few feet from making it. I could have taken a few more runs and made it, but that was too hard on the truck. It's quite deep. All right, we made it. All right, I'm back at the truck. I want to show you the results of the day. A uh, lot better lighting and a better camera than last time, so let's see how it looks. You can see the rocks uncleaned or unwet. You can see some color for sure. Some nice pinks. And now I'm going to wet everything down. This is the big one, has the orange in it, so let's start with that. Try to get the lighting right for you. There you go. Lots of potential in that one. I didn't want to break it anymore. I want to cut that. You see the pink rhodonite, the orange, and then the red on top. So I think it's going to be spectacular as long as it's not too fractured. And then some of the little ones. Again, rhodonite and reds. This one's really nice. You've got the orange again. And it goes right through the rock. This is the other, another piece of that one. Some of the are pink. Pink. And pink there. Uh, uh, this one I'm not sure. It's got some reds and pinks. And some nice little pinks. That one's really nice. And this is the orange one I showed you earlier. Really nice. Really nice orange color. 
And this is silicate, so it does polish. That orange will come out nice. Orange and pink, pink spiderweb texture. That's Zarya. Yeah, this is a nice Zarya stone. We got the pink rhodonite at the end. And then this one doesn't look like much, but it's gonna be really nice, I believe, when it's polished. It's more subtle colors, but they're green, red, and other lighter, creamy colors. Quite nice. And that will polish really well, I believe. So, so I think that's pretty good for an unexpected trip up here today. About 50 pounds of decent material. And I'll show you some of these cuts soon. So here are the rocks cut. One of the first little ones I thought would be nice. It has some really nice color. Came out quite wonderful. Uh, this one is actually kind of disappointing. I see some nice color on the edge. I thought it went all the way through. But when you open it up, it's uh, got color, yes. It's just only partially the whole rock. There's quite a bit of black on the rock, so it's not as nice. Another one of the little ones has a little bit of the orange Zarya stone. This one here, when we cut it open, has some color, and, but it's not as rich as I was hoping for. Not as nice a color on this one, but still some good lapidary material within. This one I thought would be really nice when it was cut. You can see the striations and dense, nice dense material. And when it's cut, it comes out quite gorgeous. Just incredible colors in there, and that'll polish up really nice. And this is the one you've been waiting to see. It's the big piece, it had all the color on it. And uh, upon cutting, you can see it's absolutely gorgeous. Well-balanced color, lots of different colors, and a nice streak of rhodonite right down through the middle. I absolutely love this piece. We fell so free down by the sea The sun was smiling on a tropical island We'd float with ease like a wall